assalamu alaikum hello everyone today we will be doing the last topic from the chapter cells which is unit 1.2 the third learning outcome state and use the formula magnification image size divided by actual size so let's start our focus points for today's lesson will be how do you calculate the magnification and the size of biological specimens using millimeters as units and how do you convert measurements between millimeters and micrometers as we all know that when i had started this chapter i gave you an idea about the fact that since cells or since the name of this chapter is cells and since cells are extremely small so neither can we see them through our natural eye nor we can see them through a magnifying lens which only gives us a magnification of 10 times so for that reason either we use a light microscope which gives us a total maximum magnification of 1500 times a powerful light microscope a good quality one or an electron microscope which gives us a total magnification of 250000 times what does what are we going to do today is that you will be given images which are handmade or which have been shown in your textbooks you have to measure those images and find out how many times those images are magnified as compared to the actual size of the cell for example the cell that is visible to you right now on my screen is the animal cell it is a handmade drawing right this kind of a diagram can be given to you and you might be asked to find out the magnification of such a cell which means how many times is it magnified as compared to the actual size of the cell remember this guys that in reality or in other words i would say the actual size of cells is extremely small why because we can't see them through our natural eye just to give you an idea about how small the cells are this is a comparison chart which gives you an idea about how small an atom is on the extreme left hand side you can see that an atom is so small that it is measured in nanometers which is actually 10 raised to the power 9 meters and then we move on to an amino acid which is 1 nanometer a virus which is 100 nanometer a chloroplast which is 1 micrometer 1 micrometer is equal to 10 raised to the power minus 6 of a meter right an average bacterium is 10 micrometers in size a plant cell and an av uh, a plant cell is drawn over here and an animal cell is drawn over here so an average size would be around 100 micrometers and of course the the sizes of animal cells and plant cells will be different for different kinds of cells a human egg cell is 1 mm in size and a frog egg is 1 cm in size and you can see that there are certain objects which can be seen under a light microscope and there are certain objects which are smaller than 1 micrometers which can only be seen under an electron microscope when we use a light microscope which you can see on my screen right now we use a lens which is at the top which is known as the eyepiece lens and we use some other lenses which are the objective lenses right so let's say if i have a glass slide over here and i have put a small tiny cheek cell or an epithelial cell over here and i want to have a look at it how it looks like and i'm using an eyepiece lens with a magnification of 10 times and an objective lens let's say this objective lens having a magnification of 40 times so i would say that this particular microscope is giving me a total magnification of 10 into 40 which is 400 times usually the microscopes which are in the school laboratories they give you a magnification of 400 times but a good quality microscope can give you a maximum magnification of 1500 times you all need to remember certain key terms as far as magnification is concerned so if you want to calculate the magnification of any object be it a cell or any small or large object it is actually defined as the observed size of an image divided by the actual size of the specimen for that the formula is m is equal to image size divided by the actual size 
right in exams the examiner can ask you to find out the magnification or he also might ask you to find out the actual size or sometimes he might ask you to find out the image size so by using this formula you can do if you want to remember the formula i don't think there is a need to remember because if you remember this formula you can easily calculate the actual size so if actual size has to be calculated it is equal to the image size divided by the magnification which means a will go over here right so it will give you i divided by m acha whenever we are doing such kind of calculations we should always remember that the actual size and the image sizes both should be of the same units because if they are not of the same units then your answer will be incorrect there are certain rules for conversions which are that um if you are asked to convert a bigger unit into a smaller unit you will multiply and if you are asked to convert a smaller unit into a bigger unit you will divide and you will multiply or divide with the relationship that is found between those two units for example 10 mm is equal to 1 cm so if i want to convert a cm into a mm i will multiply it by 10 or if i want to convert a millimeter into centimeter i will divide it by 10 because the relationship between these two units is that of 10 similarly if i want to convert millimeters into micrometers millimeter is a big unit and micrometer is a smaller unit the relationship between these two units is that of 1000 so i will have to multiply a millimeter by 1000 in order to convert it into micrometers if i want to convert a micrometer unit into a millimeter i will have to divide it by 1000 and so on so centimeter a big unit then millimeter a smaller unit micrometer even smaller nanometer even smaller than that just to uh, give you an idea a micrometer is 10 raised to the power 6 of a meter and a nanometer is 10 raised to the power 9 of a meter Let's do some worked examples. Before we move on to some worked examples, you should know this very very clearly that whenever magnification calculations are given to you, either you will be given a magnification factor or you will be given a scale bar, right? So let's do some examples. Let's first do the example of uh calculation of uh, magnification or image size or actual size when you are already given the magnification for example in this question it says that the magnification of this electron micrograph is 5 into 10 raised to the power 3 which is 5000 times which means that this diagram which you can see is 5000 times magnified than the actual size of the cell okay so what are you asked you are asked to calculate the actual size of the nucleolus now the nucleolus is this tiny structure okay it is this tiny structure and you are asked to find out the actual size of the nucleolus again we have the same formula the magnification is given to us which is 5000 times we are supposed to find out a which is the unknown factor for us and let's try to see what is i or what's the image size over here so this is the image whose actual size we want to calculate okay let's see how we will find out its image size first so what do we do we take a ruler and we measure this tiny organel which is the nucleolus so since you don't have it in the form of a print out right now in front of you but i have done it already so i will tell you that the measurement of this organel tiny organel which is the nucleolus is around 1 cm across so what do i do i convert this 1 cm into micrometers why do i do this because the options that i have been given by the examiner are in micrometers which means i need to convert this 1 cm measurement into micrometers so if i convert 1 cm into micrometers i will have to multiply a cm by 10000 why because let's go back let me show you 1 cm in micrometer so see if i want to convert a cm into a micrometer i will have to first multiply it by 10 and then multiply it by 1000 so this means in total i have to multiply it by 10000 so 
I will convert 1 centimeter into micrometer which is 10,000 micrometer. So I got my value. Now let's substitute these values in order to get the actual size of the nucleolus. So actual size is equal to 10,000 divided by 5,000. 10,000 is the image size. 5,000 is the magnification. So when I divide this, I get the actual size of the nucleolus equals to 2 micrometers. So in this case, my correct option is C. So you can get different kinds of questions. This is just one variety. In this variety, you've been given the magnification and you're supposed to find out the actual size. Sometimes you will be given the image size and the actual size and you will be asked to find out the magnification. Let's do some other example in which a scale bar is given to you. Okay, so this is the example of the scale bar in which the question says the photomicrograph of a cell has a 2 cm scale line labeled 5 micrometer. Now this photomicrograph has a label line, this is the label line which has been labeled as 5 micrometers and the examiner has already told you that this line if you measure it with your hand or with a ruler it is 2 centimeters and you are asked to find out the magnification of the photomicrograph. Now guys see if I want to find out the magnification I need the actual size and I need the image size right. So how to calculate the image size and the actual size let's see how to do it and you are asked to find out the magnification of the photomicrograph which means you are asked to find out the magnification of this entire diagram which means a line stretching from here till here so you draw a line and you measure it this line after measuring is equals to 10 centimeters okay this line is equal to 10 centimeters and this line is equal to 2 centimeters. So we will have to convert 10 centimeters also into micrometers and 2 centimeters also into micrometers so that we can calculate the magnification. So let's see how we can do it. Now the formula for in this question we want to calculate what? We want to calculate the magnification for which we want the image size and the actual size. Right? Achha. Let's first calculate the actual size. The formula for calculation of the actual size is the image length divided by the bar length multiplied by the bar scale. This formula you will have to learn. Again I revise, if in any question you have been given a scale bar and you have been asked to find out the actual size, right? you will use the formula actual size is equal to image length divided by bar length into the bar scale. So our image length which is this entire image is 10 centimeters. When we convert 10 centimeters into micrometers we will have to multiply 10 with 10,000. So when I multiply 10 with 10,000 I get 100,000. 100,000. One zero is at the top over here. Right? Achha, my bar length is 2 centimeters in size because the examiner has already told me that this bar length is 2 centimeters. After converting this 2 centimeters into micrometers, I get 20,000 because 2 multiplied by 10,000 is equal to 20,000. Right? So I divide 100,000 by 20,000 and then you are also supposed to multiply it with the bar scale. The bar scale is 5 micrometers. So what have I done over here? I have multiplied 100,000 sorry I have divided 100,000 by 20,000 and whatever answer I get I multiply it by 5. So basically 100,000 divided by 20,000 gives me 5 and 5 into 5 gives me 25 micrometers. So my actual size is 25 micrometers. After calculating this now I put my values in order to find out the magnification of this entire photomicrograph. So Using the formula M is equal to I upon A, my image size which is 100,000 micrometers because this is my entire image, okay. 
this is my entire photo micrograph this is my image size it is 100,000 micrometers my actual size is 25 micrometers which I just calculated when I do the division the correct answer that I get is 4,000 which is the same as 4 into 10 raised to the power 3 so this means that the magnification of this photo micrograph is 4,000 guys these kind of calculations might confuse you but if you do some practice questions which have been given in your textbook, you will not be having any problem. So in the next class, I will share some more examples with you. Uh, if you are still confused, and my advice would be to open your textbook or open any past paper to practice uh, such questions because such questions will also help you solve your ATP questions or ATP paper which is the alternate alternative to practical paper. Right? So for the time being, I think it's enough for today because uh, if I go back to my learning outcome, I have covered all the learning outcomes as far as the cell structure and function is concerned, uh, the specialized cells, tissues and organs we covered all and the last thing that we had to cover was stating and using the formula magnification image size divided by actual size. Right? So Allah Hafiz, till the next class.